31-year-old Connor McAllister is escorted into York County Superior Court for his first appearance before a judge. Facing one count of murder, McAllister showed little emotion during his brief initial appearance. McAllister's attorney objected in court to prosecutors' request for a mental examination. Essentially, in order to do that evaluation, you have to waive your Fifth Amendment and agree to speak about what occurred on the on the date in question. Um, so, obviously, to preserve my client's interests and, and his rights, I did object to that. The judge ultimately granted the request, but ordered the results impounded. McAllister was born to Nisha Hopkins. This 2002 Biddeford High School yearbook photo showing his early identity. Now he identifies as a man and is accused of killing 59 year old Wendy Boudreaux. Following Wednesday's attack at Shaw's supermarket, McAllister was booked at York County Jail. Not really, she was very calm and she, uh, um, she told me that she wanted to be in the female unit. McAllister's request to be housed with female inmates, despite identifying as a male, is rare, but Sheriff Bill King says it's not unprecedented at the jail. The facility's classification committee met to discuss McAllister's housing arrangements, ultimately deciding to place him in a female unit in isolation. This is a very complicated person, and uh, that's why we, we took our time before we figured out where we were going to actually place her. McAllister left court on Friday and now waits for the grand jury's decision.